Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing five hidden features for One UI 6.1 with the recent update. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now I already made a video showcasing all the brand new AI features with One UI 6.1 on the S23 Ultra. The link to that video is gonna be down below. In this video, we're gonna cover five separate hidden features. So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the very first feature has to do with the phone application. So I'm gonna launch the phone application. I'm gonna make a call. Now before I launch the application, I wanna show you guys something. I'm gonna pull this tab down twice, and you can see we have one, two, three, four rows. Now, after I make the phone call, look at what happens. So I just dialed a number in the background. I'm gonna pull this down one more time. You can see when you make a call, you get that mic mode, and if you tap on it, you are able to switch. Let me call that number again. You are able to switch from the standard mode to the voice focus mode which drowns out the background noises and focuses on your voice for the person listening to your phone call. So that's number one with One UI 6.1. The next tactic has to do with the widgets on the screen in the lock screen. So look at this. I'm gonna go right over here and here's my lock screen. Now what I can do with the update is, by the way, let me just show you real quick. You have a clock, date, and notifications. Now with the new update, I can pinch the screen, go to the wallpaper and style, tap on here to edit the lock screen, and you have a brand new widgets area. So if I tap on that, I am now able to add additional widgets to my lock screen. So let's add one of these, and then I'm gonna add one of this as well, just to show you guys what, how it works. Let's grab the clock, I'm gonna put that as well, okay? Now when I tap on done, I have, in fact, a couple of nice little informational widgets that I can have right here. And based on what your background image is, they might be even more clear to look at. If it's a darker image, they're gonna be more visible, okay? So that is fantastic. That's number two, let's move on. The next feature is the custom camera widgets. So if I pinch the screen and go to my widgets, and if I scroll down, you're gonna have this camera stuff right here, the camera icon, tap on it, and you can make as many custom camera widgets as you want. Let me show you what you can do with this. So press and hold and dump it anywhere on an empty screen. It's gonna launch, you can give it a title. Let's just say selfie, okay? And then I'm gonna tap on save. Then you say starting photo mode. You tap on it, I want not the rear but the front camera to show up in the portrait orientation. And then I go back over here, I can save, choose the location where I want those images saved and then I can change the widget background from my camera album. So if I tap on this, it'll allow me to select an image or use the most recent image in the camera. So let me see, select an image right here. Let's just see the moon, okay? I'm gonna tap on save. Now, anytime I tap on this guy right here, it's just gonna launch the front camera in the portrait orientation. And to give you an example, I'm gonna pinch the screen, tap on widgets, Go back into camera and dump one over here again. Now this time I'm gonna say rear video, okay? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna say start the rear camera in the video mode. And I'm gonna say save pictures to the default. Again, I can select an image. Let's just select this one as an example. Tap on save. Now I can have this kind of setup on a home screen. So if I wanna take a quick portrait selfie, tap on this. Boom. If I want a rear video, tap on this, boom. All right, fantastic guys, let's move on. Now, the next thing I wanna quickly talk about has to do with the actual pull down panel, this one right here. So every time I pull this down, I have to pull down one more time to access the control center. There is a way where when I just pull it down, it just brings this right away for quick access. So instead of two swipes, I'm gonna be able to get that with one swipe. So scroll down, come here, tap on edit, all right? And then tap on quick settings, instant access. Make sure it is enabled. Now, this part of the screen is dedicated to the quick settings, instant access. Let me show you. I'm gonna go out. So let's say I don't wanna access the notifications. I just wanna access the quick panel. All I do is boom from the corner. Now be very careful. If you do it right here, it's not gonna work. It's, it's not gonna work here. It's gonna work at the corner right here 
under the battery area. Okay, so look, boom. All right, with this one, nope. With this one, boom, you got it. Finally, this is not a hidden feature, but it's a very important feature. So we have gotten that great battery feature. Go to settings, go to battery, and now you have access to the battery protection feature during charging. Enable this, and you can use three different modes. If you're gonna keep your phone for a long time, you wanna do maximum battery protection, so your battery is gonna be healthy and it's gonna last a long time. Or you can do adaptive, which is something I do prefer. I'm not gonna do it right now. Or you can do basic. So when the battery charges to 100%, it stops charging and allows the battery to drop to 95, then goes back to 100. That's the basic mode. This one limits the max charge to 80%. And believe it or not, that's gonna prolong the battery life. Now, of course, if you're gonna be trading this phone next year anyway, and you just don't care, boom, you turn this off, you don't think about it. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, have a fantastic day.